you guys how you guys doing i am excited to be here to start a to start this year off doing a youtube um not a youtube a hair review on some hair called kinky perm forever new by bobby boss um i have already taken the hair out and made it into a upog wig i did that last night so i wasn't able to show you but i just used the simple glue method to do it so if you want to know how to do the glue method all you have to do is just look up look it up on youtube how to do a upog wig with glue so the hair is this is how the hair looks well this is how the package looks And this little pink thing and I'm gonna put a picture right here um, showing you how the, I'm, I'm going to insert a picture showing you how the package look with the hair because I did take a picture and so I can be able to show you so now you think the picture with the hair in so this is the packaging right here I got this from my beauty supply for $9.99 a pack. So yes, it was $9.99 a pack. You get two bundles, as you can see in the picture, you get two bundles. And I actually paid $20 a piece for it. So yeah, and I got the, and it's supposed to be a made with Bobby Boss exclusive cream synthetic fiber. It's supposed to be a safe styling up to 380 degrees. It's supposed to be, um, you know, tangle free, shed free, frizz free, and worry free. And then they have like more design you like more hair if you were looking for more hair. So yeah, and I have got the 14 inch and I also got the 16 inch because that was the um, longest that they had with the 18, eight, oh, 16 inch in my beauty supply store. I know I think they do have an 18, but in order for it to get the 18, you can um, go online and order it if your beauty supply don't have it. So I will link put a link down below of where you can go to get it. I think it's Sam Beauty, if I'm not mistaken. But yeah, this is the packaging. So I'm gonna show you the U part we I made. This is the U part wig, so this is the hair all over overall. And with the with my first impression of it, this is the first impression video too. I'm loving the texture of the hair. This is one reason why I got it because the texture of it, it look more real. Like don't look like you slide iron it. It look like you just blow dry your hair. So I'm just loving the texture of the hair. So yeah, this is the part where I'm going to cut it off at right here. So I just used the, I'm going to show you what I used to achieve this look, to achieve this wig. I did use, there are two, one thing I want to say right quick, there are two bundles in each pack. So you have to make sure you get two two packs. You have to get two packs because one pack would not do it be enough unless you just want some really, really thin hair because the, the um, length of it once you unroll it it's really not that long because you know how most time when you unroll your track you have like it'll be so long that you it can be on floor when you're trying to put it in but this one no it is not that long you might get like five pieces out of it i'm just saying but i did use all four four bundles to make this and it, it was a little too thick i did have to go in there and try to thin it out and I have already um, cut it, tried to frame it on my face. So I'm going to show you right quick what I use. I use this dome cap. You can get this at a beauty supply store for $1.99. I got it from my eyes for $1.99. I use this super hair bun glue. Now with the hair, with the glue, you can use this or you can use the, um, what was the other one? Uh, 
the hot gun, the hot gun, blue, the hot gun. It's supposed to make this way, but I was like, this is a beauty supply for her hair, so I just used it. And I also am going to be using needle, uh, needle and thread because I'm going to sew it around here. And you're also going to need some scissors, and I just have a brush to brush my edges edge control when I put it on and you can use this this is optional I bought this thing this little comb thing with the razor in there but I did not use I and I like it so I had to use the comb so yeah that's it I think yeah, that's it and you'll need planner so I have already done my braid pattern I can see these are my leaves out on the side because I wanted to have these out because some people don't leave the sides out but I like to leave my sides out just in case I like to you know paint it back some put it into a back ponytail or something I have something to cover it up and this is my front so I just did some regular big braids and just connected the hair and then turned around and sewed it on at the back so now I'm about to cut this part So now I have officially cut this U part right here. I just want to show you that. But so first thing I want to do, and this is one reason why I made a U part wig, so I could be able to take it off. The first thing I want to um, do is oil my scalp. So I'm using this mixture right here of what what I use in here: coconut oil, sheer butter, castor oil, and olive oil. So and I'm just going to oil my scalp with this. So now that I have oiled my scalp. Now that I have oiled my scalp, I am going to put on my u par wig and sew it. Well, first, let me get the needle ready. So, let me get the needle. I'm about to put the u par wig on. And I'm just going to sew it around the perimeter.
Hey, you guys, I have successfully put the U, um, U-Fart wig on. Now, with the back and the side, I'm thinking about just bobby pinning it down to make sure that it doesn't move around so much at the back. But this is how it looks. Now, I'm fixing to get ready to take my U-Fart down and firm. So, I'm going to start with this side. I have already sprayed my heat protector on there last night. Because I blow dry my hair last night, so I'm going to already spray my heat protector on there. See, it's easy, so I sold it when I put that even so I want to put it on so I can. So, let's flatter this. I want this hair to match, so I'm not gonna do like go in there a couple times and bring the bone super straight like I usually would, but this is fine. And one thing I can't say about this beauty supply store, I've seen people, this hair, you can look up reviews about it, two other reviews, and I've seen people curl this hair, one curl this hair, flat iron this hair, and it came out so pretty. So that's another thing I'm liking about this hair, and the beauty supply store hair has come up a long way because it used to be a time where you could put um heat in hair now you can so this is how it looks it's like exactly matching in here so i'm going to do the other side I forgot to mention the color of this hair. This is a two. The color of the hair is a two, and it matches my hair like to the T. Like you guys, it matches my hair to the T. So they have different colors. So if you're looking for different colors, you can find them. Yeah. So this is the one side. Like I said, I did put four packs, four bundles in there, and it did came out super thick. <clears throat> so if you don't want it to be super thick, all you have to do is just go in there. And what I did is just basically, well, I'm not gonna do it now because I have my real hair in out. And all you have to do is just go in there, and just like do like this, but do it fast where it's like the most thickness in. But once I do that, because that's gonna blend right back in with your hair anyway. So you just want to do it like that. Don't go in here and just go. No, you want to do it like that. But you can look up YouTube videos about it. Uh, I don't know if you're but. Now I'm the end result of this hair but one thing I'm going to do before I am fully through with this hair I am going to put the edge control now this is the argan oil three time edge control by via natural in the Moroccan <clears throat> this is like the third one of the line I guess of the edge control and this is how it looks in the inside now my honest opinion with this edge control I don't like it
Okay, so this is the end result of the hair. Now, as you can see, I don't know why I'm talking like that, but as you can see, um, this side is like a little thick to me compared to the other side, but oh well, I might thin it out some later on, like in this little area, thin it out. But anyway, um, my first impression of this hair is like I like the natural, the natural texture of it, I like how it just blends in with my um with my hair and it's like the same color it's matching it's not shiny and it looks like that natural texture like the natural texture i love the texture of it and that's the whole point of me getting this hair because of the texture um i haven't any experience any shedding so like if it if that, it does shed it won't surprise me because i got been cutting it and <clears throat> I've been like putting out a point so yeah um it wouldn't surprise me for sure but also that what else it's it does it has gotten a little tangled in some areas but all you have to do is just calm it out i think it's just tangling up because i've been moving around with it a lot but all you have to do is just calm it out but other than that i love with this hair so we will see and it was only twenty dollars together for two packs so I need to do something to this little piece because I don't know I don't like that all in my face like that but let's see but yeah I'm going to be giving you weekly um not weekly but I don't know I would probably back up here another week to give it like a review I probably do up to four weeks of reviews so yeah but other than that, I hope you guys like it. Um, subscribe if you want to. Comment in question comments, please leave it down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.